hello my darlings i am quite excited about today's video it is going to be a fun and strange one i want to squeeze in as much as i can <laughs> into one video so today we went off to the boot sale in the morning obviously as you can see and i did set the intention to do this video i wanted us to speak about the blank spaces in 12 days of january why am i carrying on with this a self accountability i cannot ask or even tell anyone to do anything if i can do it myself it's rude it's bad manners so here we are the moment i get home i am going to share my skincare routine with you yes i do do a skincare routine after I get home from the boot sale because it is hella dusty, it is hella messy, I just need to do something to the skin immediately I get home. So we'll just have a chatty situation and I plan to end the video with a few things that I got from the boot sale. It was really good, I'm really happy with my little goodies. Such a lovely morning, very jam packed, lots of walking, lots to see. Before I get into my routine, I would love to share my why. I simply want to take off sunscreen and dirt from my skin. We had an early morning, so my skin has already had all this for about six hours. I just like to give my skin a break and remove that that hard work it's done this morning. For real, this is my after boot sale skincare routine. It always happens after we go to a boot sale. So let's get into it. For my oil cleanse, I'll be going in with the Repair Active Nourishment Oil from Beleno Skin Botanic. Now this is not a cleansing oil, but I have run out of all cleansing oils and cleansing balms I have in my cupboard right now. I made an order yesterday from Beleno's actually. So I'm just, this is a facial oil. It's not a cleansing oil, but sometimes I will do this because an oil is an oil. And I feel like treating the skin. When don't I ever want to treat the skin? <laughs> so 12 days of January, you know, it's going well for me. I really like how it's keeping me on toes. As I said, keeping up with doing these videos is a matter of self accountability and me not sitting at a pedal stool commanding down <laughs> and not following my own advice <laughs> so i want to talk about my two blank spaces if after i finish talking at the end of this video and you think 12 days of january sounds interesting to you everything will be in the description box i've just gone in with a little bit more oil because i want a little bit more slip so my two blank spaces <laughs> Let's talk about the sad one first. Is it really sad? In the beginning of the year, yes, it was sad. In, in, in the past, it was sad. But this, because I have chosen to confront it this year, it's changing. It's evolving. I am finding the medicine in it and I'm very grateful. So my blank space is my loneliness is a gift. I embrace it wholeheartedly yes i am a lonely person um <laughs> i'm not sad lonely not now anyway but it's something that I, I i have really struggled with in the last three years um yes i am married yes i am a housewife yes i am a very busy person but i am also a very intense person and I, me being in connection with people is a part of my emotional health. I love being with people. I love connecting with people. And my life became very quiet when I moved into my husband's home. And I am not one of those girls who derives all her emotional... What's the word? I don't know what the word is. Anyway, I don't get everything from my man. Like for some women, their man is their everything. Like if they could only talk to their man forever, they're probably okay with that. That That's not me. I'm not that kind of girl. And I'm not judging anybody who is. And I don't need to be judged for that as well. We are all different. We all 
relate differently i love that we all relate differently we all exist differently in relationships oh i love that so clever ig you go girl the last couple of years have been really tough and it's not about the pandemic as well that it, it wasn't about that it was just in my late 20s i decided to be very bold be very brave and to start confronting my demons and to start my healing journey and as we all know when you start this journey it comes with the price of letting go of some friends of some relationships that you are either the toxic one in the relationship or they were the toxic one in the relationship or the relationship was just a mask a mask that you are both hiding behind anyway when you start this journey of deciding this is who i am and these are my wounds this is how i am going to live now you lose people <laughs> you lose people and coupled with that move when i got married and came to my husband's home it, it, it was just bang all up it was I have never experienced such profound loneliness and I just, I just I guess I didn't know how to be alone I didn't know how to be alone so this year I decided that you know what this thing is not gonna eat me alive I'm done I'm done with this thing eating me alive and I put that affirmation actually on my walls because there are quite a few affirmations on my beauty walls my loneliness is a gift i embrace it wholeheartedly and i've been mulling over that for the last six months and really seeing how truly my loneliness has been a gift me stepping away from people or even people stepping away from me <laughs> it gave me space to find myself as a woman it gave me space to root myself in my home. It gave me space to learn the type of wife I have become because the type of wife I am that was never mirrored to me growing up. Like me being a housewife, I've never seen anyone being a housewife in my family. I had to unpack so much to actually stand back and say you know what this is not my life these are my choices and and i'm sticking to them i'm bloody sticking to them <laughs> another thing about loneliness that i realized this year is that i myself and many people use a lot of things to not feel lonely we use people we use things, we use the television, we use our phones. We just busy ourselves with things that don't truly matter and get involved in situations that we need not be involved in. Just cause we were lonely and we didn't like it. We didn't like how it felt. It, it's also given me another perspective. If the divine has decided that now in my life, this season I am meant to be lonely, it is for a reason, it is to sharpen my tool of love. Because me and Mr. Lyons, we good, don't worry about that, we good, you know, that's... But in terms of sisterhood, in terms of girlfriends, I feel like Divine is telling me to sharpen my tools of love when it comes to that. Divine is challenging me to be the best woman I can be, not just for my husband, but for my future sisters, my future girlfriends, my future daughters, you know, and yeah, I could say many things about this, <laughs> but I don't want to open a door where I expose myself and give out my business on the internet. It's not that deep. Um, I'm sharing this also because if there's anyone out there who's lonely, it's okay. It's okay. I know people like to say, you don't need anybody. Nobody needs any friends. Well, some of us, we do. Some of us, we like that. We like having sisterhood. We like having girlfriends. Some of us do, okay? Okay? <laughs> don't let nobody gaslight you about this 
you know if if you sit with yourself and you understand the root of your loneliness don't let nobody gaslight you with their theories that's their way of relating that's their way of existing that's that's them as for me <laughs> this is where I am so yeah let me go wash my hands and take this off I will be back in a moment so I've got a muslin cloth and a bowl of warm water oh <laughs> Oh, that is one of the best feelings in the world. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm then going to drench my face with some thermal water from Uriash. Then I'm going to saturate a cotton pad with some of this toner. This is the rebalancing toner from Kayeso Beauty. Mm, refreshing look at the size of these cotton pads I'm going to link them down before below they are from super drug Jesus they are massive I love them I love the size of those cotton pads brilliant I'm then going to mist my skin with a vitamin E hydrating mist from super drug and I am going to put on a few layers of the propolis honey extract from one thing into my skin. So my second blank space is my happy space. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. It's simple, but of course it's IJ, so it gotta be complex. <laughs> Um, I was inspired by a young lady I follow on Instagram. I will link her down below. She is an absolute delight to follow. She believes in her dream so bad. She chases them so bad. She just has this faith in herself. It's ridiculous. And she always says it. She doesn't move from a place of arrogance or, or narcissism or overconfidence. She always says it. I move scared. Whatever it is that I want, deep down inside, I'm scared. I'm terrified. But I still move. Because I believe in myself. Because I want what I want. You know? And she, I've followed her for years. And she's just gone from strength to strength. Watching her is so inspiring. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see human beings, especially black women, live their best life. <laughs> a top tier feeling. A top tier feeling. So Jasmine, like her name is Jasmine. Jasmine loves to say this thing, fortune favors the bold. She always likes to say, you know, it's been her mantra for the last few years. And I said, you know what, in 2022, that's going to be my mantra. <laughs> and it's been really good and I told myself you know what let's do this in bite-sized pieces and be intentional about applying this in my daily life like when I'm in the supermarket the person in front of me I will ask them have you got your club cup can I have your points you know <laughs> little strange things like that I will be brave enough to ask these days or I'm even more brave negotiating. I usually don't like negotiating, but I've told myself fortune favors the bold. Be bold, IJ. And I negotiate these days. <laughs> and also being more vulnerable with myself in terms of, now let me give you a complex example. Um, there were some things I had to say to some people and I just sent a voice note. I sent it you know I told myself stop being scared don't don't worry about don't worry about what's gonna happen after the voice note why why are you doing the voice note okay do it then stop over complicating it you know and strangely enough it's like anyway you know I just can get complicated <laughs> It's been good. Fortune favors the bold. It's, it's in the little details for me, to be honest. And there is one big thing Divine is asking me to be very bold about. 
this year but that's something a little bit too personal to share online but yeah the plan is to be like Jasmine to do it even though I'm scared now I am going to moisturize my skin with a Simply Pure Hydrating Night Serum from Superdrug and I'm going to add in a few drops of my own oil. I've decided to mist my skin again because why not? It's just water in a can after all. So those are my two blank spaces. You know, my loneliness is a gift. I embrace it wholeheartedly. I'm so grateful I found that affirmation or accepted it into my heart because let me tell you the mind shift, chef's kiss, and fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Just doing it, asking the person in front of me for their club card points. You know, if you don't have a club card, give me your points. <laughs> and also doing it while scared because truly fortune does favor the bold. Now, my last step is to actually disinfect my glasses because they are covered in dust from the boot sale. Let's end this video with the highlights of my boot sale findings. I just felt like sharing. <laughs> it's a way to also get to know me. You get to see some of the things I really love. And to show you my good luck because let me tell you i'm always so lucky at boot sales i always find things that i love of course i found some scarves of course ij loves a good scarf you all know that these are all vintage mns marks and spencer they still say saint michael's on the tag <sighs> we've come from far haven't we anyway this one is my favorite i got four but i decided to just show you my favorite i absolutely love the print of this this is so so pretty love that and this is not so bad it's just a nice classic brown scarf with a leaf motif i'm not too mad at that I then got some dandy comics from the 70s. Yeah, these are all from the 70s. I love vintage dandy comics. They make me so happy. This is perfection bedtime reading for me. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but for real, it just makes me so happy. And the star of the show really is this Tom and Jerry annual. I have never seen a Tom and Jerry annual. And this one is old. It's from 1973. It's from the classic style of Tom and Jerry that I grew up with because I don't like the new Tom and Jerry. It's too, what's the word, uh, computer generated? It's too computer-like for me. Anyway, I love Tom and Jerry, the old school stuff. So to find an annual, this was really cool. I'm so excited. So, so excited to read that. Looking forward to reading that tonight. I then got this gorgeous cookbook that I have no business owning or buying but I looked at it and it's a cookbook that has been written authentically it has what it has dishes from India Thailand Malaysia and Indonesia and all the contributors of this book are from that region like it's not a curry book written by a white person no offense but yeah <laughs> you know this this these are recipes they probably learned from their moms and their grandmothers so yeah that's why i got this i had no business getting any cookbooks i have enough and also i'm minding my business buying books but it was a pound something just told me get it Ugh, i just I, I really wanted it i'm happy i'm happy i love that i love that now for the mother load i found somebody selling some vintage fragrances they were probably decluttering a granny's house so happy so i've got um christian dior jador and i've got knowing by estee lauder i am going to have a look at these batch numbers but i have a very strong feeling that these are genuine fragrances i only paid a pound for each of them so this is two pounds so it was worth the gamble let's smell them together yeah knowing smells like something i would like a big floral animalic interesting slightly powdery slightly green 
interesting 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 i'm not surprised but interesting let's try j'adore a little bit alcoholy maybe this one's gone bad maybe this was seated in a window and the sun has been eating it up i don't know i need to do some research and probably go to a counter and smell them i remember seeing j'adore in my mother's beauty vanity as a child but i can't remember what it smelled like i i have heard of knowing i'm excited and grateful it's time to end this video i want to thank you so much for being here with me i've really enjoyed filming it totally random but i've enjoyed sharing my boot cell finds and doing my morning skincare routine with you i will make sure to fill up the description box with everything that is relevant in this video thank you so much for being here with me my name is ijama and i'll see you soon